Should you go to Apple and spend $160 to get these? Or should you do like the life gainers do on this channel and you find that shit somewhere cheap and get the same quality? We're going to discuss the cheap version in this video. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with y'all knowing and loving all, feeling all, seeing all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sex is hell host. Another life game review. This is a review for a subscriber. And as I said before, if you want to get some reviews done or any requests done, go to the Facebook page for Life Game. Send me a message. I'll try to get your review up here. And if you enjoy the reviews we do on this channel, please subscribe. Click that notification bell so you're down every time we drop a Life Games video. And check out my other channels, Life Games Financial, Life Game Fitness, in the video description. Let's jump into it. But first, plus sevens are sexy as hell because we're working on skilling our craft, giving you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the i7S AirPods. Two years ago, Apple came out with their version, which was the first generation, and people was wondering how in the world were those things gonna work? Well, if you guys recall, back in the day, Apple didn't have a jack for you to use headphones, so people was drilling them and stuff like that. And so that's what these earbuds were made for with Apple. And I mean, these things work great. They, you know, the buzz wasn't good, but they worked great. But the problem was they were $160. I got these on Amazon. My link is in the video description. You can get yours too. They work the same exact way. And I'll let you hear the quality in just a second. When you pull these out of this little case, it comes in this little case like this. You charge them right there in that case. Once you do that, you can disconnect it and take the case with you. And for me, these have lasted about five hours before I need to stick them back in this case, like so, and they charge. The good thing about them is whatever you connect it to, and so today I've got mine connected to this computer, when you pull it out of the case, it automatically connects to the device for you. Same thing Apple's does. So if you had it connected to your phone, it would do the same thing. This one in particular, what I have noticed is it drowns out some of the, the static sound when you're at a gym or something like that because I have used these to do some sex as hell working out in. And I'll say it passed the sweat test. You would think that these little things would wiggle out of your ear, but they didn't. They've got little buttons on them that can mute and stop them. And that's how you would connect to the Bluetooth. And the good thing about these is when you pull them out of your ear, it pauses your music right there on the spot I mean, these things are great. The other thing that it has done that I've really enjoyed with them is you can also use this as a talking device. It has a mic on it so that when somebody gives you a phone call, you don't have to hang up or you don't have to pull these out of your ear. It'll automatically switch over to the phone. You hit either button on either side, it'll answer your phone call and it'll pause your music right where you're at. Now, one thing that Apple didn't do back in the day, I don't know if they changed it, is you couldn't get multiple colors. Well, with this one, as you'll see on that box, you can get all those colors you've seen. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for a great alternative for headphones, something different to Beats by Dre, or let's just say you want something to wear at the house. So I'm gonna be hard pressed to tell anybody who's a workout workoutaholic to switch out your, your over the ear headphones, especially if you're a runner. If you're a runner, you're gonna have to put on some kind of sweatband to hold these in because you get to jostling and jangling, jangling, it might wiggle out. But if you're just gonna be doing walking, it's great for that. These little ear earbuds, ear pods, whatever you wanna call them, instead of you paying $60 at Apple, you can get these for $13 in my Amazon link. 
You can't beat that. And I mean, they work great. Little nuance that you might experience that I experienced in the beginning and I was about to complain, but it, it wasn't like that. When I connected it, only one earbud connected and I thought that that meant that neither one of them was connected, but it didn't mean that. If you connect one, they're both connected. So the only thing left to do is give you the sound test. Let's go. I, by the way, I was listening to some old school hip hop in the beginning, and that's what you're about to listen to right now, straight from my ear pod. So that was your sound test. Now leave me some comments in the video description. Have you bought AirPods before? What do you think of them? Is it something that you would recommend to somebody else? Before you spend 60 bucks, 160 bucks, man, I would definitely try these out, even if you are an Apple person. Now, of course, Apple tells you that their version is going to work the best, but I'm here to tell you, these did me fine. Any more video requests, leave them at the Facebook Life Games page, and if you don't have a request, go over there and like the page anyway. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. And until the next product review, I'll see you.